thanks for joining me, Swiggin' Steve, for another Bargain Beer review. And this week we have got a Marjul beer. And I have uh, this one's called Northumbrian Blonde, coming in at 4%. And those who know me or have watched my videos before will know I've reviewed a Marjul beer before, Radgy Gadgy. I pronounced it Radgy Gadgy because I'm somewhat illiterate. But anyway, let's see. Oh, this one came in at a pound from Job Lot again. Another Job Lot jobby. As you can see already, it's a lively one. And I'm hoping it's more carbonated than the other one. The other one was uh, somewhat flat. Yep, nice blending colour. Oh yes, we've got a lot more carbonation this time. And you know what, I'm not one for over carbonation, but I just like my beer to have a nice, you know, like, I like the carbonation feel when it's just right when I'm drinking it. The last one I had was just thin and oh, it just reminded me of like going to beer festivals and having really dank beers mm, okay so nice color it looks like the combination is quite nice nice big bubbles but there's not lots uh, maybe slightly over but then again i didn't pour it properly because um i can only do it with one hand so yeah i'm gonna have a little sniff mm, now i'm getting some spicy notes from the smell there uh almost like uh gingery on the smell um lemon lemon ginger i'm getting off that uh, yeah, very nice actually. It smells very pleasant. Slight grapefruit kick on it as well. Not much. More, I'm going on the lemon smell for me. Give that another swish. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Those really like a real sort of grassy. Um, not I won't go piney. They're a really fresh smell. Really nice and fresh. So here we go. Chin chin. Turn that camera around. Hmm. Well, that's nice. Hmm. More do, boys. I'm going to have some more of their beers. I like their beers quite a lot. That's lovely. That's a really lovely, well-rounded beer. And it's got this lovely, slightly spicy hop coming through. Um, it's got an English hop in there. But I think it's got something, um, I'm not sure, maybe like a, possibly a cascade hop in that actually. Because it's giving it that really lemony sort of smell. Uh, smell? Smell and taste actually. It's well rounded. It's not too hoppy though. It's not leaving my taste buds really dry and bitter afterwards. Uh, that really citrus is, it's, it's really well rounded. Like the, malt, the malts are coming in there and, and taming everything down. And it's just a really lovely balanced beer. Really nice. Mm. Slight edge ruinous, so like I'm getting an earthy hop on there. Maybe. Um, but it's really nice to drink. The carbonation's spot on. A medium feel on the mouth, you know. Um, everything you'd want in a nice session beer, and, it, and that and that spicy hop that's coming through is um, just lovely, because it it, it doesn't really. This, it, it doesn't really take over. Just as it's coming up to uh, to hit you, it kind of tames itself a little bit again, and it, and, it, and it makes you want more and more and more. And you could happily nick this. Hmm. Nice. So we'll look at the bottle. I was supposed to pause it then, but it don't matter. Yeah. So we'll look at the bottle. See what the notes say. See from anything near to what they describe the beer as. Marjul Brewery has been brewing world class beer since 1995. In that time, we have won more than 40 major awards. Well, I don't, I'm not surprised. The beers are lovely. Uh, the secret to our of our success lies in the sing in the simple fact that we only let our beer out of the brewery that we want to drink out. What the let me read that again. The secret of our success... I, I, honestly, guys, I've not been drinking. I, I promise you. The secret of our success lies in the simple fact that we only let beer out of our out of the brewery that we would like to drink ourselves. Right, okay, cool. Uh, we hope you enjoy this beer as much as we do. Sorry, because it was like bent then. I couldn't, I couldn't really read it properly. That's my excuse anyway. I'm just illiterate. So, um, here we go. Oh, we've got a little thing here. 
telling us about the tasting notes. A new Blondale. Fresh zest state with a hoppy lemon grapefruit aroma. I would completely describe it like that. Completely. A colour is very blonde. The taste is, is sweet. Hmm. Yeah, it is actually. I would probably say a th I'd go a 3 out of 5 if it were me. I think it's a 3 out of 5. Just simply because it... The, I don't know though. Yeah, because you're getting a more you're getting the bittering from the hops coming through. I'd say it's a bit more towards three than four. But anyway, we're pulling it to, you know, we're being pedantic here, aren't we? So, yeah, four percent. So just to conclude, wipe right, my nose a little bit. Um, I think uh, I think I've waffled a bit on this beer review, and if I have, I do apologise. A really good beer. Uh, exactly how it's described actually it's got like a lovely zestiness to it and it is sweet uh, which I didn't describe actually really, and it is um, and it's just well balanced it's something you'd love to, uh, that's a lovely summer beer I'm, I'm going to go and give it an, for a pound a bottle I'm going to give it an eight, a solid 8 out of 10 a solid 8 out of 10 really enjoyed it so uh, until next time see you around